This video is to briefly demonstrate the controls on radar on a Furuno TZ Touch 2 or 3 MFD. To get to radar, press home or the user swipe down menu, select radar. The screen comes up in the bottom left corner. Make sure that radar is selected which then gives you access to the gain, the sea and the rain clutter controls. We turn the radar on, select our range if not already selected. This radar is set at half a mile and we're in a marina so there's a lot of signal noise bouncing around but we can still see the passageway up and down the marina. To change from automatic to manual we use the MA, Manual Automatic Switch, and we immediately see the gains at 79, C's at 53 under the automatic. So we will bring the C clutter down to zero for purposes of tuning. So we go to our gain, and we increase our gain up to 100%. We can see now we've got grass on the screen. So the grass is these green speckled areas all around the screen. We want to get rid of the grass. So we can use the slider or use the plus minus buttons here to actually change that figure. So I'll just bring it down. We've now got rid of grass. And we'll bring in the C clutter to cl clean up the, the signals that are in the center of the of the screen so touch C clutter we get our slider bar here we can slide up and observe the picture as we're doing remember that the radar has got to sweep around two or three times before you're going to get a really good picture so that C clutter is a bit high so we'll just bring it back here and a little bit more back yeah, that's not bad. We'll go back a little bit more just to show you. It's starting to get cluttered again now. So we'll just go up a bit more so we can get a better discretion on the picture. And there we have our picture. If we go to split screen, so nav chart and radar, and we slide this menu out of the road, so the active screen at the moment is the nav chart. To touch this screen on th that side, we'll activate the radar screen. Now I'll just center the vessel. And you can see here the actual shape of the marina, which is reflected in here, because we've got boats on those moorings, on those fingers that are sticking out from the shoreline. So this is my preferred method of, of using a radar at sea. If we just go back to the radar screen, we can then go back to automatic here. Let's see if our picture changes very much. It doesn't change much at all, which means that we must have had our manual settings somewhere near right. Um, but of course, for optimal performance at sea, particularly with inexperienced crew, it's better to leave it on radar. Thank you.